Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Castro back at you with another Ableton Live quick tip tutorial on getting better MIDI. Yes, that's right, another video on MIDI. So I have this MIDI clip here, and this is quite standard for random MIDI clips that you get out there on the web. I got a huge pack from Hydrogen Sound, which has hundreds and hundreds of MIDI that I use all the time because they're great. But one thing that isn't great is it's all 127 velocity. It's all quantized strict to the grid, and I never really want that. I always want little fluctuations. People call it humanizing, whatever you want to call it. It just makes it sound better. And I'm going to share with you two of my go-to to fix that and they're both really easy to do. So the first one is in MIDI effects and it's called add some random. It's a preset inside of the velocity folder. If you click and drag and drop that on there and I'm gonna go ahead, I've got another MIDI clip here set to record from that channel. Let's go ahead and play it. If I come in here, you'll see down here at the MIDI velocity sliders have all been manipulated. Now, for the most part, this works just fine for me, but sometimes I don't want there to be so many uh, 127s. You can also come into the MIDI effect and actually change the output highs and lows. You can also change the range over here and how much random is applied. So you have a ton of control over it, but for the most part, uh, I find that add some random works for me pretty much all the time. The second method is if I come in here to the clip is adding a groove. I'm gonna click right here so it will bring me right to it in my library and it's in the side of the core library swing in groove and you can pick any groove inside of here. We're not really worried about the groove. I'm gonna double click and then if I come right here you'll see that I have that loaded here. I'm gonna take this to zero. I'm gonna take the timing to zero and the only one I'm uh, worried about here is random. And I'm gonna put that, uh, let's put it up real high and just listen to what it does. So we wanna make sure our groove is breakbeat, perfect. I can actually close out of there and we're random at 100. Drunk piano player. But if we come down here to something more manageable or realistic like 20, let's go ahead and record it just so we can see. Now, if I double click and open it, you'll see like over here, this one's kind of ahead, this one's a little bit behind, and so on and so forth. And it's happening randomly. So some of them are quite uniform still, but other ones, if, especially if you zoom in, you'll really start to notice the time differences here. And little things like this just make things sound better. And again, the term that's thrown around is human. It's a more of a humanizing feature. So when the robot overlords start producing better music than you know your favorite producer, they're gonna be doing slight tricks like this to make you think that it's actually a human playing. So uh, that's the two methods, or those are the two methods that I use all the time when I'm dealing with MIDI that looks like this. And as I said, most MIDI that you get from sample packs looks like that. So those two methods really help to bring and breathe life into MIDI clips that are kind of stale in that department. Random velocity and random timing, both done with things built into Ableton Live. So no excuses, guys. You should be doing this to your MIDI each and every time. Anyway, I'm Joshua Casper. I hope you learned something and I'll see you in the next video.